long time no see. I know it's been a little while, but today's the day. And I'm gonna start by doing, by recreating, a leopard or cheetah print makeup look that I did last week for our fall festival. I'm gonna do it again today for our trunk or treat here in town. It was pretty simple. It took a little bit, but it was actually pretty simple. Um, I even borrowed my daughter's little rose gold ears, but for this week I actually ordered some on Amazon. Uh, but I'm gonna use these to keep my hair back. So if you'll just hang tight, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows, put some tape on. Oh, go ahead and put my primer on also. And then we'll get started. I'll be right back. Okay. I am back. I tried filming, but I had an issue to let y'all know. Um, I'm looking a little crazy, but I primed my face, did my brows, put tarp shape tape on my eyes, set that with just my regular under eye powder, and then I have tape, of course, just so I don't have to worry about keeping everything nice and clean and making sure I have a straight line. I don't have time or a steady hand to do that anymore. So, Let's go ahead and get started. I'm first of all starting off with my uh, Kat Von D shades and light pa shades and light palette. Um, I just started right here using this color. Just putting that in my crease area and a little bit above. I have hooded eyes, so I have to. Sometimes I have hooded eyes. It just kind of depends on the day or time of day. So I'm gonna go up a little bit higher than just the crease. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go into my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I love this thing. I mainly wear mattes because of my hooded eyes, or sometimes hooded eyes, but then there's all these uh, shimmers and foiled, foils, and anyways, it's just a good combination of everything. I'm gonna go in here right here with this color. Take that into my crease. I'm not worried about my lid because I'm gonna put glitter on my lid. gonna be going into the darker shades so it was right here let's see let's try Roxanne So I've taken that color and I've really blended it in with the other one. So now I've got more of that reddish, orange, brown um, color going on. And of course, I bring that all the way in. Now I'm gonna go in with a more actual brownish tone. This is palette is really hard for me to hold right now. Um, what color was I even going? Oh, here it is. Which is Mocha. Then keep it at the outer. And then work it into my crease. This one is Central Park. So same thing, I'm gonna really focus this on the outer part and into the crease. So 
Sorry, I keep leaning in to go to my mirror, but y'all are right here. So sorry you're getting this up close and personal view. This is what happens when you are determined to just start filming again and are not at all prepared. So I'm really having to bring this up, at least for my eyes. Like I said, this looks like it's up really far, but then you don't even see it right there. But most, like most, pretty much if you're a subscriber, I actually know you in real life. And uh, almost everyone knows I have a neuromuscular disease called myasthenia gravis. And what that means is the more I use my muscles, the weaker that they get. And that includes the muscles in my face. So usually by the end of the day, my eyes are drooping, my face is this side's already usually kind of droopy. So I always have to compensate in my makeup for that. Okay, I kind of like that. I'm trying to think. I think I need to add a little bit more of this other color. Let's go in with soda pop. It is. It's really hard to even tell that that's not another black. It looks almost jet black, but it's just a super dark brown black combination. This is why I put the tape down because I knew I would make a huge mess. brush I'm just kind of cleaning it off a little bit I think I just showed it to the mirror and not you all <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of soften that edge so hopefully it blends in with that crease color prom oh I did not know my daughter was standing behind me Ooh. this is like a typical thing with my children they love to give me a heart attack <laughs> So now I'm going to, um, basically we're going to do a uh, cut crease. Uh, um, I have a specific brush that I always use for this, which is just like this. I don't know. It's just perfect for getting in there. And of course I use Tarte Shape Tape. I just really like it. So I'm going to go in here and just close. Black or blackout, not blackout. I'm gonna cover up all of this on the lid so that I can go back in and put glitter on top of it. Stargazer as my under eye powder and it is straight up white but um, I'm obviously very pale most people if you look at their reviews for this um, they use it for Halloween makeup no. but we have this pal it works for everyday makeup okay now repeat the same process on the other eye Stargazer. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to use my Stila 
Kitten Karma glitter and to kind of hold that down. I don't think you have to have it, but like with me, with my allergies and I'm a mom and my eyes droop and like you do all of that together. I just don't want to take a chance on this being everywhere all over my face. So I'm going to use glitter glue just to set it. And this is a Too Faced glitter glue. And I love this stuff. Okay, so I'm going to, I just put it on the back of my hand and now I'm using that same concealer brush, but I just wiped off the concealer. Okay, so now I'm gonna, it has this, I love the applicator. It's pretty easy to work with. I'm just gonna go in and lay it everywhere I have that glitter glue. I'm gonna go in and just sort of darken up right in the crease. I'm back, I have set the eyeliner with the black out of my Jaclyn Hill palette it, using an angled brush. I am now doing my foundation. I'm kind of trying out this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation in porcelain. Not sure what I think about it. concealer. I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape for a lot of it. Okay, I'm going to take my concealer brush. This is this, blah, 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 blah. this is the Morphe G38. Always use your ring finger because it's not as rough on your skin. I'm going in with my contour palette from Amazon. I think this was like eight bucks or 12 bucks. I don't know, but obviously I found a color that works for me and oh, um, I love it. So my first of all, I do that. this darker shade in the palette and do just a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and highlight first before I do my blush. highlighting it. It's 
So I just did black all underneath and everything. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do my mascara, false lashes, and then I'll be back to do the spots. Okay. I was going to put false lashes on, but I just know that, ooh, my hair. Um, I just know that my eyes will be itching all night long if I do that, and they're, they're already itching. So I just did a lot of coats of mascara. Um, I'm hoping they're noticeable. I don't know. Anyways, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start doing my spots. Uh, I'm telling you that in case that my, in case that my, what? I don't know what I just said. Um, in case my phone dies. Anyways, so I'm going to go back into my Kat Von D palette and I'm going to use the shade Queen. Very fitting. Um, I'm going to use this and this is what I'm going to make my spots with. So I'm just literally going to dab. liquid eyeliner this is nano liner absolute I think it's from absolute New York called nano liner ultra fine precision liquid liner I didn't like it like for normal eyeliner reasons so it's perfect for this so let me just get in here I'm just going to draw some lines just random lines around my spots be completely running out yeah uh, I really don't want to use my good one <sighs> all right take my stargazer white again and we got to do this little area I'm gonna make a little cat nose We're just gonna go with it. I'm gonna line my lips with a um, Wet n Wild Coal Crayon. I don't know. It's just a wet, cheap Wet n Wild eyeliner. Um, I'm gonna line my top lip with this. just called and it quit recording so I just kind of lined it and smudged it uh, and fill in the top okay so I'm gonna set all this on my nose this line and this part with um, my Kat Von D, the black, and my Kat Von D. I'm gonna go in with my red. 
red. Um, this is Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. I, these are like my favorite lipsticks. Just kidding I'm not that person okay I think it is done so I'm going to go change clothes because I still have on my pajamas okay so technically this is the shirt I wore yesterday it's a Halloween shirt and pajama bottoms um, and put on different ears poof up my hair a little bit you know and I will show you all the final result all right guys so here's the finished product uh, it was really simple. I just kind of zhuzhed up my three, four day old hair. Uh, Recurled the front just a little bit. Back home the back. Threw on, I just have on a black tunic from Amazon. Some black rock star jeggings and some brown boots. I'm out of breath. I'll probably throw on um, a black cardigan, also from Amazon. Um, and that's it. Like, this is it. Um, the only thing I have left to do is get the kids ready. It didn't take that long. It would have been a lot quicker if I wasn't trying to film. And it's been so long since I filmed. So, it was a little bit getting used to again. But, I really like how this turned out. I mean, it looks really rough while you're in the middle of it. Like, you don't think it's going to turn out at all. But right now, I really like it. So, alright. So, to end this... Let me know what are you dressing up as for Halloween. Let me know what you think. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out and I appreciate it. So see you in my next video. Bye.